The city's Zoning Board of Appeal shot down a proposal last week from a local Islamic society to build a mosque on Moody Street. I'm so, we're sorry. We hope you can find a place where everyone can be safe. But the decision against the Waltham Islamic Society was anything but routine. Two votes were required and the re-vote came after one ZBA member, Mark Hickernell, said this. To consider the likelihood of litigation stemming from an adverse decision here. ZBA Chair Barbara Rando took exception. As a board member that I'm insulted by that remark. Rando was one of three who had expressed concerns that the rear entrance of the proposed mosque at the former New Landing restaurant and bar would not be safe for worshippers to enter and leave from. But Attorney McCourt, we're talking about trucks and cars and people. They don't mix. WIS members would typically enter from the back in order to face Mecca during five daily prayers. When we visited the half-paved alleyway last week, it didn't look very safe. There was a large Waltham India Market truck and a van parked in the narrow space. You cannot walk between the truck. I, don't, I stood there. I mean, I could if I went like this. But did the ZBA go too far? After all, safety had nothing to do with the variance that the WIS was seeking for some new construction in the rear of the building. Do you want to go to a Catholic church and say, I want you to use the rear door, or where do you want to go? Our thing is to vote on this thing. It's not to say, you got to use it this way. We are responsible for our children. We take care of them, we protect them, and we know that they are going to a safe place. What's more, Waltham India Market owner Saeed Rahim, himself a member of the society, said he would arrange for delivery trucks to park away from the alley. Uh, anything I can do to get this thing approved, and it will help my, my business too, in other ways, because they, all those people are my customers. The ZBA was unconvinced. Four votes and you do not have it. Attorney Frank McCord said in closing that the WIS still hoped to occupy the building. He requested no continuance or appeal and the society could not be reached for comment. As we reported last summer, the WIS raised $450,000 to buy the building after the new landing went under. And now the community has just grown larger. At the two ZBA hearings, roughly a dozen WIS members spoke in favor of the new mosque, intended to replace their current place of worship inside this rental property on Park Place. For Waltham Newswatch, I'm Chris Wangler.